In this video we are going to talk about the population ecology model of organizational birth, but I much more like the name population ecology theory. It's, it's much more simple and it tells uh, uh, the, the reason that it is a theory much better. So I would like to uh, draw two pictures for uh, this model. The one will be uh, the basic idea of some, some market or some environment. So here we have environment in... sorry... Uh, environment, environment, and then there are going to be uh, some companies. So here is going to be one, and here, and let's say here, and here. And every of these companies have got some part of the market. So maybe this one has got this big share, and this one has got this one has got just very small share. And this one is some some major players, so they are big. So you can see there is maybe there is always some some unentered or some free part of the market. And now now we are going to continue. I will get back to this picture uh, several times uh, during the video. Let's try to draw uh, the organizational birth rates, or how does it look with the number of organizations that are made. So here. And we are going to have the number, so here is going to be the number of organizations, and here is going to be the time. So, time. Be careful, if you have watched my previous video on a vertical axis, I had the effectiveness of organization, but here is, here is the number, and I would rather write it down, so number of organizations. At first, maybe new market is created, there is of course zero, or, or the minimum number of companies. And now we, we start to, to make some companies and, and some companies are made and then there is going to be a sharp increase and then again we are, we are getting back to previous pace. So our graph is going to look a little bit this way. And, and we can divide it into two phases. Uh, here is going to be one and you can see that the number of organizations here is rapidly rapidly increasing increasing and at our second stage the the number of the organizations is they say is tapering off so tapers off tapers off or i would say slow down so it simply slows down but but just remember there are always some organizations created it never stops so so maybe in a week there is one new organization while here in a week it was three organizations so let's try to discuss uh, this this number of births and what does it affect so this 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 population ecology theory tells us about the factors so the factors that affect that affect the rate at which new organizations grow that affect the rate the rate of uh, uh, growth of the number of organizations so the rate of growth in number of organizations or organizations so what is there what are the factors? Maybe uh, here are some political players and they have really affected it right in this stage. So this is the basic idea of, of our ecology theory. And now we are getting to second idea and that's the population density. So population and I will change the color density. Density. And this is pretty interesting idea because it, it is the number it is the number number of organizations organizations that are in the environment and competing for same resources so same environment same environment and hence the the same resources right so same resources. That's why I have drawn this picture. You should always keep in mind that we consider the environment as something uh, that has got the boundaries and it is very hard to expand this market so that you have got just limited resources. So here are just limited resources and companies are competing against each other. We would like to take a little bit of these guys share so we can earn more money. 
but let's let's try to see what what these factors actually are so we can we can move a little bit down and you remember we have first uh, first phase so here is our first phase and here is going to be our second so the in the first phase there are uh, two factors one is going to be the idea of an increase in the knowledge so there is some increase increase in the knowledge the knowledge and thanks to that we are able to imitate so thanks to that we can imitate or companies used to imitate uh, these already existing ideas that have just emerged and they simply make the new organizations right so here was some guy who got a great idea and then three other guys said oh this is a great idea we will make the same company so that's why it, it really increased right over here and the second factor that is there is the or is called the role model so the role role model and and this simply says uh something very similar and that um if, if a company is made and it is successful the next entrepreneurs will have it quite an easy uh, to find uh, the same idea or to find something interesting or something that makes this his company successful. These these two points are really interconnected, and I think it is it is quite fine if you just remember that that there is some imitating always in the market when there is some good idea. But now we are getting to our second phase when uh, the growth of the companies or the number of companies is slowing down. So here it is. And again, we are going to have two factors. So the first one is very simple. Just imagine this picture. And now the new companies are growing and they are taking or, or cutting off the, the free size of the market. And what happens in the end? Well, nothing is left. So the resources are diminishing. So resources are diminishing, diminishing. And now let's again take a look. What, what is going to be second factor? Well, when, when everything diminished and there is no more free space in the market, you are going to compete. So maybe this company takes over this one. And what happens that it is called the concurrency or that we have to compete with other companies. So we have to compete compete with other companies other companies okay so so this was the whole idea and i will try to recap just just in few seconds so we have got population ecology theory that tries to explain the factors that affect the rate of a growth in number of organizations always remember this this number and that there are uh, two phases in, in, the, in uh, growing of the number and the factors that are behind are always two in, in both of the phases. One is increasing the knowledge and the role model and that there is some imitating in the market. And then when this rate slows down, it is because the resources are diminishing and that we have to compete with other companies for them. So hopefully it was helpful.